bell pepper bop. Mmm, that's a bell pepper. Wow. Where can I buy a bell pepper, Jeremiah? In hell. (laughs) (laughs) (sighs) All right. (sighs) Bethel. One, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one. Your mind's getting a little stoned for this episode. Just for. Oh, really stoned? He's getting really stoned for this episode. You know that's that is a great honor that you've bestowed upon us today. Thank you. One, two, three, four, five. Ow! <laughs> Hi. Hi. Let's uh, fucking beat this game's ass. This is gonna be really hard. <laughs> oh, God. Whoa. You're gonna be fine, you big baby. It's fine. Everything's fine. Cool. Um... I just have to run over there. Can you turn my headphones down a little? Headphones down? Mine down, yeah. How's that? Oh. How's that? How's that? Okay. Okay. Creepy game. Here we go. Oh, God. Kiki's whapping me with her tail. What an honor. I know. Whoa. Uh, am I going the right way? Shit. <laughs> Welcome back to Map, the game. My favorite game. Uh. Shit. Uh. Ah. 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 Kiki left and the weight that was... Pulling the chair back suddenly propelled me forward. So I was being <laughs> pushed into the microphone. <laughs> um, uh, Hi, Beth. Hi. I think um, I'm going this way. That's exciting. Yeah, it kind of is. Because it means we get to fight a fucking scary ghost. I think I'm in the wrong spot. God damn it. I'm a little lost. Hang on. <laughs> um, okay. I need to get a better angle here. Okay. Uh, what the fuck? Where is it? Oh, because technically we haven't been there yet. I was going the right way before. Okay. Okay, that's fine. We'll do that. Can you see good? Yeah, I can see real good. Okay, good. I want you to be able to see the scary shit that's going on over here. Ah, I want you to be able to see me fail fucking over and over. Yeah, that's good. I can't believe I have to walk my stupid ass all this way every single time. Uh, there you go. Butterfly. Yeah. Come this way, dumb ho. Here we go. I think I fucked it up. Yes, I did. Shit. Hang on. I think... Uh, three moves remaining. 
So this one stays. I think this one gets moved. Hmm. Uh. There you go. I kind of... I kind of want to go back and save. Just so I don't have to do that every single time I die. Save. Because I know I'm going to die at least once. Do it. <laughs> I'm just going to do it. On the road again. I can't wait to get on the road again. Don't beat this damn ghost. Doing a bunch of shit we already did again. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what's going on, Maya? What, uh... Oh, I'm just chilling. It's a Sunday, you know. Those lazy Sunday vibes. I feel that vibe. Ugh. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Nice and relaxing. We're playing this game in the daytime for once instead of pitch ass blackness. Yeah. I feel like we're on vacation. Uh, vacation all I ever wanted. Uh, vacation goes every fucking where. <laughs> Uh, they're not gonna let me out here, I bet you. No, 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 no. Okay. We're not even at the really annoying part of this game yet. <laughs> wow. Alright, 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 alright. Whoa, whoa. Okay. Save over this same one. Whoa. Okay. What a creepy game. Yeah, dude. Can you imagine being here? This would suck. No. <laughs> <laughs> I do not like this. I would not be moving around this freely, I'll tell you that right now. This guy is acting like it's a fucking casual, like, nature hike or some shit. Yeah, he does have <laughs> a rather casual gait. Just going down to the store. Uh <laughs> Uh, uh. uh, scary game. Scary game. Acid wash jeans. <laughs> Camera with a strap. <laughs> <laughs> Turned around and gave that big ghost a snap. Next thing you know, ghost hits the flow. Save me. <laughs> oh, she's my God. She's just scary. Very scary. She should be saying shit like. If you can beat the guy, he's, he's really hard. <laughs> Good she, luck, she, she bitch. She should give him, like, tips or something. <laughs> yeah, you should probably charge, use your good film. Nice. Yeah. <sighs> Look at this thing. On an altar in the center of the room is a burner, like the ones used in esoteric fire rituals. There's a coil of ropes above the altar, in the center of which is a bundle of rope about the size of a person. Ray. That sounds great. About the size of a person. All right. Ah! 
damn it! Ugh. It's fine. I just avoid that. Avoid that. He's swinging his arms around. He's. Ah! Sorry. What a dick. <laughs> There's going to be a whole lot of I screaming. I need to get him when he does that, but it's really hard. As you can imagine. Oh! Okay, I did it the dumb way. We're not doing it the dumb way again. Oh! Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. Ah! Sorry. You're doing great. I might have to turn the game sound down because... It's just making me scream like a little baby. Okay, I got it. Keep going. Okay. Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! Sorry. Okay. Thank you. I did it. Uh, yeah, what am I doing? I'm an idiot. I should be using slow. Well, he's gonna eat me. That really hurt. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm wasting all my film. This is so stupid. <laughs> this run sucks. I mean, you're doing great. Keep going. Okay. Whoa! That's not fair! I mean, it is. Just wasn't paying attention, but... What the fuck? Hello? He He's gave like, up. He went home. <laughs> that would be nice, wouldn't it? Alright, I did it again. I'm just warming up. It's fine. I'm warming up. You're doing great. Thanks. Ah! <laughs> He's like, oh, okay! Hey there! Hey there! <laughs> Okay, okay, come on, brain. All I did was slow him I think I'm understanding what I have to do. You got it, you got it. I don't want to see the stupid game over screen. Just... Fuck you, you have to go all the way back to the title screen. <laughs> it's fine, I got it. Whatever. We're cool. I'm eating bell peppers. I'm jealous. <laughs> Crispy. Delicious. Kiki looks jealous and then she smells it and she goes, oh, fuck. Ew. Ugh. You guys are free. <laughs> Who the fuck eats, just eats bell peppers? <laughs> you... You guys are insane! <laughs> <laughs> We're going in with a new strat. And that is to not be dumb. Kind of a hard strat, but... I'll see if I can pull it off. Well, acid wash jeans and the camera with the strap. With the strap. Turn around and give that big scary ghost a snap. Next thing you know. Next thing you know. That ghost grabs his flow. <laughs> Shake him to the flow, flow. God damn it. <laughs> Writing songs is hard. It is hard. I'm gonna get you. You get to it. You can do it, you. Yeah. This bitch. Watch how the store closes. Ready? Cool. It's just, it's, it's just like 
I didn't bother to. How did you know that was there? Uh, because before when I walked over here, it was like. Oh really? Yeah, that was that was in a previous session. Mm. Yeah, yeah, exactly like that. Maybe there's another way. I'm crazy guy McGee. I fucking wasted it. So about that strat of being smarter. Not working out for me. Alright. Just relax. It's cool. And let the ghost choke your health down. Hey, boom. Okay. Ah! All right, I need to I need to chill the fuck out on this. Stop chomping on me, God! You're a freak. Chomp, 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 chomp. <laughs> <laughs> jump, 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 jump. <laughs> <laughs> Stop jumping on me. Stop jumping on me. Oh, God. That one was hard. All right. Nice. You did it. I got a shutter chance. Fuck you! Fuck you! Oh god, that's not good. Ow. Ah! Yeah. Oh, so close. Dang! Dick! Ah! Sorry. <laughs> Keep screaming like a baby. <laughs> and crying like a baby. Because I'm skewed. Ah! Oh, Jesus! Ah. Oh. This fight? Giving me stress! Hey, she got him. Oh, oh, oh. Send him out like crazy. Take him out. Ow. Fuck you. Jerk. <laughs> Come back here. <laughs> I want your lunch money. Kiki, ah! <laughs> Kiki. Why do you do this to me? You got him. Nice. Fuck you. And then he gets mad. Oh, I did it. You did it. <sighs> that was like... Your very second try. A dumb way to do it, and Your I lost all my first medicine. try. <laughs> <sighs> okay. The door has been completely boarded over several times. I don't think I can go any farther this way. And here we go. God damn it. Of this crappy game. Excuse me? Beat that old ball. Right like a baby. Kiki. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, whatever. She's fine. She's fine. Ah! Oh my and god. No forgy box. What? What? Oh, he's chasing me. Run, I think the point run. is that I'm supposed to run away. Run. 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 Hey, you little bastard. Oh, you. Oh, damn it. Now she's pissing us all off.
He's running away in anger. Good. Bowl of cereal. Oh, that sounds good. I'm gonna take a walk here pretty soon. See Food. some supplies. Yeah. Oh god. And we're running. K is losing his damn mind because he's dying. What a, I guess I'm supposed to just get the fuck out of here or what? Oh, there you go. Oh, shit. Sucks. Oh, I don't know what that said. Mio. I did it. I used up all my good shit, but I did it. Hooray! Film! Kiki is so... <sighs> Damn it! Alright. Ah! Get this fucking film. Uh. Save. <laughs> Doesn't like it. How are we looking? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're looking like, uh, gonna go develop some film. Hi ho. Oh, Jesus Christ. Here we go. Jesus Christ, here we go. It is. Uh, hi, my name is Kay Amakura. Uh, is you in at the moment? Uh, um, you're... Oh, shit, he's dead. Sorry. <laughs> uh, I was investigating some stuff, and he stopped talking to me. I, th I thought I made him mad or something. Uh, oh. Um, about that investigation... I'd like you to continue investigating the manner of sleep. Why? <laughs> what the fuck? I can't say. Please, please just do it. I know it's scary and weird and fucked up, but do it anyway. Would it be all right if I paid my respects sometime soon? Yes. I I'd like to say goodbye to him. Poor Ray. Okay. The manner of sleep. These tattoos. Could they be a curse from the tattooed woman in the manor? Duh. <laughs> when the tattoos spread, when the woman catches me, will I disappear like Yosh Yoshino Takigawa did? And what of Mr. Amakura and Miku? The fuck's gonna happen? What the fuck's going on here? Guess what? Oh yeah. Sexy shower scene. It's 
Steamy. Nice. Oh, that. What? How big is that hey! shower? Yeah, that's fucked up, right? Yep. There's no one in the bath. Okay. Okay. Well, um, we're here. We might as well go develop some film. <laughs> Do you feel good, Maya? Uh-huh. <laughs> This is a piece of great film film. Look at this. Wow. What a shot. Ooh, what? The fallen man from inside the closet of the main hall. Had he gone missing too, I wonder? Maybe now I have this photo, I could find something out about him. Oh no, it's like... Okay. What a scary house, but it's kind of a weird layout, to, uh, in my opinion. Yeah. Weird house. Did you hear that? <laughs> Someone said yeah, <"Yatis." laughs> <laughs> uh, uh I didn't hear anything. That's probably good. Miku! <laughs> <laughs> What's up, gangster? What's up? What's up with you? Hey. Ray? Here. Here you go. The picture of the woman resembles the one in this story, so I gathered some data on it. God damn it. Oh, the crawling lady. <sighs> okay. Associated with disappearances and spirited aways, there's an urban legend called the woman who crawls on all fours. In closed dark spaces, like under the floor, or in the ceiling or closet, lurks a woman that crawls out every night, cursing bitterly. That's the gist of it. <laughs> Great. Baller. Many urban legends of this type are based in fiction, novels, etc., and real is incidents. As the story spreads, images, people, fear are added, and it becomes all the more legendized. This? Who wrote this? <laughs> <laughs> For... <laughs> For example, the story The Woman Who Crawls on All Fours is said to be based on the following disaster that actually occurred years ago. One month after the disaster, a woman's corpse was found in a ditch several miles from the disaster site. Evidence showed she was alive up to a few hours before she was found. Jesus Christ! Ugh, it is thought to be an exaggeration since the story became legendized. <laughs> But several people who lived where the woman was found and along the route to the disaster site say they heard a knocking sound in the night. There's also another version of the story that has been passed on. The part about the woman lurking in the floor or s the ceiling seeking help every night is the same. But in this one, the ending is that if you peer into the ceiling or floor, she will attack you. Thanks. Fuck. Here. Uh, the photo of the shrine carpenter. Here we go. A shrine carpenter is a carpenter who specializes in building temples and shrines. They were formerly called temple and shrine carpenters, but when Shinto and Buddhism were separated in the Meiji period, 1860s, and the anti-Buddhist movement began, temple was removed from the name and they became shrine carpenters. Amongst themselves, they said, building near a house degrades one. I, okay. And when they did not have a building contract that would work in farming or the like, they would work in farming or the like, and with only limited site experience, refine their technique and skill. They were, there were carpenters who only served one shrine, and special techniques, methods, and ways of mystic construction were passed on to the master builder. This photograph is of the framework. This reads like a goddamn textbook. I know. With the carpenters lined up and the master builders at the center. As in the picture, they wore white clothing and a court hat for the framework raising ceremony. But in old times, they would wear white clothes during work as well as 
it was said that a carpenter must worship the gods and Buddha. While this wow. dress expressed piety, it may have also been a way for shrine carpenters to assert their pride and skill before others. Thanks. Wow. We history lesson. I know. Oh, the photo of the tattoos. Oh, the, the skin. This combination of snake and holly in this tattoo is primarily found in northeastern Japan. This design is chronicled in the old northeastern Japanese folktale, Tattoo Maiden. Tattoo Maiden, here we go. A girl loses her lover, and before he fades from her memory completely, she takes the pain of her remaining love and imbues it in a holly tattoo. Yet the girl falls in love once more. Again, she loses her lover. She engraves a tattoo of her love into her body again. This time, she engraves a divine snake so her lover's spirit will arrive safely at the place of the gods. As the girl repeats love and loss, her skin grows filled with tattoos. She cannot tolerate the pain of the tattoos, and it takes its toll on her sanity. Oh, no. <laughs> Meanwhile... I'm crazy! Ah! I'm too many motherfuckers breaking my heart! <laughs> Can you imagine if you got a tattoo for every relationship you've ever been in? That would suck. Yeah, that sounds not fun. Meanwhile, her heart is eaten by the snake engraved in her soul. Great. <laughs> Hooray. This legend is widely known on the plains, but depending on the region, slight differences appear. In the mountains, they, the following changes can be found in the story. This is called the Tattoo Master. The Tattoo Master. The girl who lost her lover goes to the mountain master to relieve her pain, to confide in her. On hearing of the girl's pains, the master engraves the snake and holly on her own body and assumes the pain. The villagers, hearing of this, visit the master one after another to relieve their pains as well. Eventually, the master's entire body is covered with tattoos. She who took on so many pains gets trapped in sleep from the pain of the engraved tattoos and well, cannot wake. Well. Finally, she is eaten by the tattooed snake. Um, nom, 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 nom. Chomp, 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 chomp. The story has one more version, this with an even more tragic ending. It is likely a story designed to teach a lesson. The Tattoo Master version 2. The master covered in tattoos goes as far as to tattoo Holly in her eyes. Then her tattooed eyes turn to mirror and the pains engraved on the master are repelled back to the people who engraved them. Ah. Huh. In the end, every last person is eaten by the snake. Yeah. The part about turning to mirror may come from how snakes' eyes were traditionally thought to resemble mirrors. Given the change in the story, it appears that when the tattoo master legend of the mountain spread to the plains, it became more fable-like. The story, with its priestess-like element of the master, was corrupted into a city girl's foolish love story. As far as the meaning of the snake and holly tattoo in this folktale, the holly tree represents the pain of love for the dead and pains of the heart. The snake is employed here in the divine sense, and its import seems to be tied into love and pathos for the dead that devours those, including the girl and the master. That's some fucked up shit. Yep. It'd be a fucking cool tattoo, though. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I hear you don't. You think getting a tattoo is good? It's not. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care about it, but it's not good. <laughs> All right. Oh, this picture of the airplane lady. The clothes these people around Miss Takigawa are wearing in the picture. They look kind of like the clothes her family and lover were wearing. They were all riding in the same plane. Cool, thanks. You can ask me whatever you want, okay? Can you give me a kiss? It seems like you're having a lot of nightmares lately. Are you all right? Will you develop this? Will you take this film or what? It's raining again. It's raining again. It's raining again. Take the film, bitch. God damn it. <laughs> Kitty. Lately, all I can think about is the past. That's sad. Why are we whisper talking like this? All right. That's cool. See ya. Imagine I'd say you and I talked in the house. I would walk into a room. I'd be like, Hi, Beth. How are you? <laughs> Jeremiah. Really. Yeah. It's raining again. Wow. Uh, Beth? Yes, Jeremiah? Would you make me a good cheese sandwich? Hell no. <laughs> Why? Because it's hard. 
That's an arm. Yeah, it is. They said it was hard. It was arm. Uh, hello. Au revoir, Morby. I'm a little arm poking out of your bed. Is somebody just like you said? Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm the disembodied arm monster. You're gonna hate me. I'm gonna get you under your bed at night. Grabbing your ankles and pulling you down. Turn the fry on upside down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we want to do a little, a uh, little, uh, more oh. ghosty. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. A little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of a. Yeah, dude, let's call it. Fight some shit. Oh, should we call it? I mean, should we say, oh, the snow. Oh, come on down. Uh, woo. Oh, Lord in heaven. This is strange as America's home. Funniest home video submission we've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn it. Oh, damn it. Oh, damn it. Fuck! We're in the cage now. <sighs> Next time on the Jervy and Bar Show, we go crazy. This bullshit. Hooray. Thank you for joining us. Bye. Bye. Uh.